Hi, I'm Paul Rifkin. I live on Cape Cod, Massachusetts. I'm in the process of making a video about the peace movement. I'm also a peace activist. I went up to Kennebunkport, Maine, August 25th, 26th, for a peace rally. One of the highlights of the rally was a speech by Dennis Kucinich. Hello, Maine! And so today I want to share with you a new vision for America, a vision of an America that can be, of achieving strength through peace. Strength through peace. That we still have within ourselves the ability to transform this nation. We can feel it here today. It is what binds us here today. It is what causes us to move forward from this day to change our politics, to change our country, to change our world. We have what it takes in order to call forth a new America. We have what it takes in order to call forth new leaders. We have what it takes in order to call forth peace and call that America. Thank you very much. God bless you. Thank you, peace. Let's lift up this country. Thank you. After the speech, I was really impressed by the fact that Congressman Kucinich and his wife Elizabeth actually marched with the peace marchers all the way to Walker Point, the home of the old President Bush. It was two mile walk and it was real hot and confrontational. When the march ended near Walker Point, the Kucinichs were just about to be chauffeured away by a car that arrived to move them to their next campaign stop. When, because of the heat and humidity of the day, somebody collapsed, the Kucinichs had an opportunity to make their getaway, if you will. But they didn't take it, as the congressman was more concerned with someone who needed his help than with his own campaign. He got out of the car, his wife got out of the car with him, and they went over and they comforted this gentleman who had fallen to the ground. While others were calling 9-11, the congressman went down and comforted and held this man, man and supported him emotionally and physically until the paramedics arrived. It was an act of great compassion and altruism, I thought, something we don't see that often. It was what I consider a really candid glimpse into this man's character. Thanks for listening.